making this video here and uh, somebody started talking on the bus and so I figure I'll narrate this story a little bit to replace that because I don't want to listen to somebody else's private conversation. But uh, so anyway, I just th I've been I went over to West Seattle the other day and took a bunch of pictures, and um, I'm on my way back home, you know, and I had got to go through downtown Seattle on the way, so that's what I'm doing. It's uh, kind of an interesting little scene. Uh, the the you know I'm filming through a dirty window on the bus, so the video quality isn't all that great but it's an interesting little story i think i like cities you know i'm from wyoming and i've just you know i've always liked cities they're fascinating beautiful you know things you know big skyscrapers are beautiful pieces of art you know and I, that's what i think the whole world economy is booming, man. Look at that. That is a one booming civilization right there. It's, uh, you know, we live in the richest, greatest civilization in human history, and it's global. It's the whole world, you know. You know, Seattle is actually a small city compared to, like, Tokyo or Shanghai or, you know, mo you know many, many other huge cities around the world. But this is one big city, and uh, it's, uh, as you can see, that port is busy, you know, and that's a good thing. You know, co trade and commerce are going on right now. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep making it better. We got lots of problems. It definitely needs to be improved, you know, and we can do it, you know. I, you know... Everybody wants to claim that my ancestors were bad guys because we came over here and created the United States and took over from the Native Americans and had slavery when we first got here. I just don't agree. You know, I, I love and respect my ancestors. I think they created the greatest civilization in human history. Not just the United States, it's the whole United Nations, you know. It's a great civilization, and uh, you know, and it's not perfect. No civilization is. We're human beings, you know, and but we have made a tremendous amount of progress from where we were when we started. You know, that's where we're, that's where they were when they started. Was they were part of the British Empire, and slavery was part of that empire. And I'm, you know, and I'm not saying the United States is perfectly, I complain about the United States a lot, but I love the United States. The United States is my favorite nation, and I believe it's a great nation, and we need to keep making it better. And I don't, I do agree that we need to, our civilization to evolve in harmony with nature, that I do agree with that. I just, I don't think we're going to go back to uh, some ancient, you know, ways. We're going to go forward to some new ways that are different than anything that's ever existed before. And, um, you know, the thing about, one of the things about capitalism that everybody seems to ignore is that both democracy and capitalism depend on religion. You know, the people who created the United States were religious people. And they created, you know, because neither capitalism or democracy will work without religion. Because otherwise it just becomes a materialistic hedonism run amok, which is kind of what we were getting to, to you know. But... Uh, it depends on the people being spiritual people, you know. And I believe the United States is the most spiritual industrialized nation on the planet. Even though right now it seems like the not very spiritual people are in charge. But, you know, that's okay. That won't last, you know. 
God makes the rules, you know, which is a good thing. Uh, and uh, I agree with that. You know, God makes the rules and they just are what they are. And he, he's ruling the world. That, you know, he's creating this. Right now, the big deal that's going on right now is the one world civilization. There's, there's the whole planet is one civilization. And it's a fascinating thing. You know, it's to see this birth of a global civilization on this planet, you know, so it's a spacefaring federation of self-governing nations is a good thing. It's just a stage, you know, we'll probably get to a stage where there are no nations. I don't, I don't know, you know, but right now we have a cell, a govern, uh, a global federation of self-governing nations. And that's a good thing. And we're learn we're learning how to get along with each other, and it's you know these civilizations are clashing because they are coming together. They're they're all global. They used to be regional, you know. The Christians are over in one area, the Muslims in another area, the Hindus in another area. Now they're all global, and so they're arguing about what's right and wrong, and you know it's just natural. And we'll eventually get to a global ethos, and it will ha it will be really you know the faith is the most important feature of human nature and civilization. You know that one common faith of all mankind. You know it, it ha it's absolutely essential. You know for for individual well being and for social and economic development. You know, e economics is a good, not a bad thing. You know, everybody wants to say, oh, they're greedy, selfish. No, they're, they're not. You know, they're eating. You know, you have to eat to live on Earth. You know, it's not the purpose of life on Earth, but you do have to eat to live on Earth, you know. So working and producing and productivity and prosperity those are good things. That's not a bad thing, you know. And trying to turn it into a bad thing is a terrible disservice to mankind. You know, we've got to teach. If you want to solve the income inequality problem, instead of trying to punish rich people, teach poor people how to make money. Teach poor people how to be prosperous, you know. And that's what we need to focus on. The rich people, they, they got issues too, but... You know, it's not okay for a few people to have billions of dollars when there's a bunch of poor, you know, homeless people struggling to survive. That's not okay. And we got to fix that, you know. But uh, the main solution to that is the faith, you know. So just keep uh, being spiritual, you know, whatever you're conception of spirituality is that's what you should do you know read the sacred writings and uh practice your religion in your life in every detail of your life including your career you know be productive you know you gotta be productive it's not all about gimme gimme and getting and get you know getting that's not the whole point the point is what are you producing you know, and, and being productive and being peaceful and harmless and living in harmony with each other and with nature. And most importantly, with the cause of God, you know, and spirituality. There's the first homeless shelter in downtown Seattle. As soon as we get here, that's first. It's everywhere. It's just so disgraceful. And I don't blame homeless people. I blame the mayor and the city council. They are not doing their job. They were elected to govern this city and they're not doing their job and they're allowing this to go on. They live in mansions and they leave these people to fend for themselves on the streets and that is absolutely disgraceful. And that's just, it just infuriates me. What's going on? And the, and the trash. You know, there's trash everywhere in Seattle. And it's a 
beautiful city. From from a distance, Seattle is just gorgeous. But you get up close and it's everybody's mad. Everybody's, you know, angry and just like nasty. And you got just the zombie apocalypse going on everywhere where you got all these poor homeless people that are they're obviously sick and need help and nobody's really helping them. I mean, the city, they're just aggravating the problem. They're not solving it, you know, with all that giving away. You know, they don't need to give. We don't need to be giving up free money and food and shelter. What we need to do is to give them a job and help them become productive members of society, you know, counseling and teach them how to be productive and how to earn a living. That's what we need to do. And uh, we need to be doing it to, for everybody. Every jail should be a vocational rehabilitation center. You know, I mean, you know, a rehabilitation, you know. There's another new building getting ready to be built. I wonder how tall that one's going to be. You know, I like tall buildings, uh, skyscrapers. They're, they're our 21st century Pueblos, you know. We got to build a beautiful city and make them sustainable, make them you know, comfortable and clean, neat and clean and um, beautiful. And just uh, keep building uh, these, uh, making it great, man. Because I, I think Seattle's beautiful. But it's it's just got a lot of problems that need to be solved, you know. And we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Right now, I'm making videos about pictures and videos and website, you know, and trying to teach people and make the world a better place as much as I can, you know. Taking a, making a video of downtown Seattle. The bus always catches you right when you're wanting to catch a scene, you know. It's funny. It's okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So keep, uh, you know, here we come up. Uh, we're coming up on a scene that just... Uh, really infuriates me it's the action the downtown central main street in seattle washington and it's just it's disgraceful it's dishonorable and disgraceful the city leaders allow it to happen and they're not doing their job but anyway you know human civilization is thriving we'll be okay you know we got to take care of those poor people on the streets, though. We got to get them off the streets, get them a place to stay. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy or anything like that, but it does need to be reasonably comfortable and clean and get them some help, get them some food and shelter, and get them cleaned up, get them some nice clothes, get them some tr counseling and training and uh, medical attention and, and teach them how to be productive. Teach them how to prosper in this wonderful civilization that we're building here. And clean up the trash, man. Build sidewalks. And, uh, you know, build, make this, you know, make the city pedestrian friendly and uh, with traffic, um, and pre prevent stop and go traffic every chance you get. You know, I made this video earlier. This is the second time I made this video. And uh, I'm hoping my voice is going to be... I've been trying to talk loud because I'm talking on my phone and I want to make sure it comes through. But the last time I did it, my voice was really weird. And I hope it, it's probably the same way because I didn't really do anything different. But... I just wanted to make this video. Here we get, we're coming into the downtown area and it's, you know, it's a beautiful city, but uh, this is just sad. That's not okay. That is not okay. It's disgraceful. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Life is an adventure.